It's my again welcome 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 to my channel i'll be showing you guys how i did the closure replacement on this wig so this is how the hair was sent to me the closure had torn and i had actually re repaired this lace but it seems it got torn again so my client sent it back in so i can change um the closure into this two by six closure so one thing you need to know when you want to replace a closure is you don't need to actually rewig the hair so what i did was i sectioned the i sectioned the closure part so i went ahead to lose from the wig i made sure i measured the closure to the new closure to where i should start from so that's where i started there losing from you know it's a kim k closure and it's a bit long and white so yeah So now the closure is off. This is how this is the old closure. So now I'm resizing it like I'm trying to make the the pattern to be closer so that I can fit in my new closure. So this is me trying to fit it in to make sure it is close enough so I can start sewing. If it's not close enough, you have to remove the pins and like make the pattern to be very very close. So since I think this is better, I went ahead to start pinning it down to make sure it's secure before I start sewing. So I sewed the I sewed the closure onto the wig cap. As you can see, there's still hair left on the on the wig. So you really don't need to rewig a hair when you want to replace a closure. So this is me sewing the closure down make sure that the closure is flat enough guys because when you are done it can be bumpy it cannot be the pattern might not be straight so you make sure that the closure is laying very very flat and nice this will give you a really good um closure base as you can see i'm done sewing the closure area down so i'm going to go ahead to cover the many parts of the wig with the hair that i already taken out so this is it i did it off camera because it was it's not that serious so this is after me after um i finished um wigging the hair back that's the part where i lose so now i'm going to be sectioning it so i can style it since it's a bob i'm going to be straightening it before i send it back to the client so since the hair is actually very frizzy, I have to re revamp it. So I'm going to be using my hair oil to like give it a little bit of shine and a little bit of moisture before I start straightening it because um, styling or dry hair is really not good for your head. It can actually make it worse than how it was sent to you to repair. So after I apply the oil, I'm going to be combing it. Then I'm going to be straightening it, guys. This is practically everything that I had to do to replace or uh, to do a closure replacement
Styling is very important when you are um a wig wearer or a wig maker like just see the difference between the part I, I had styled and the part that i had not styled so if you don't style your hair you cannot enjoy it guys there's, there's no two way about it if your hair is not properly styled you cannot enjoy it so you have to make sure your hair is either curled properly or straightened properly for you to actually be a wig wearer and enjoy being a wig wearer because you can't be a wig wearer and you don't style your hair. It doesn't work that way. It's, let me just put it out there because some people actually like find it very difficult to wear a wig. But you have to style it, guys. You really do have to, you really have to style it. So after I'm done straightening, I make sure I use my hot comb to make the closure area flat. Mm -hmm. So I'm using my wax stick to um, apply on the closure pattern. This wax stick helps to tame fly away. Like you once you once you use your wax, you see that they are little or no fly away. Like all those tiny small small hair that comes out from the closure part. Yeah, the wax stick helps to tame fly away. Then after that, I'm going ahead with my hot comb. This hot comb is so hot. Like I literally just burnt myself recently because I was talking too much. So when you're using your hot comb, you have to make sure you're concentrating on what you're doing because you can literally burn your, yourself. It's, it's, it's like you can literally burn yourself. So please be careful when using your hot comb or even using your stretcher or even a coiler. Styling tools need to be hot enough for it to work. So you have to be very careful. As you can see, the closure is laying flat. But the closure is longer than the hair. So I'm going to go ahead to trim the excess part of the hair. Um, any part that you see is not properly trimmed. I went ahead to use my um, clipper to like make sure everything is equal, and the final result is beautiful. Yay! <laughs> So I went ahead to use my clipper to make sure everything is lean flat and the final result Woo! Yes girl, you did not have to lose the whole way guys I just did a minimal um, closure replacement and I loved it Thank you guys so much for always watching my video Thank you for supporting Like I really really see you guys Like I see you guys supporting me and I appreciate it and I love you And I'll see you guys in my next video Bye!